people call me an audiologist. Others call me a hearing nerd. Being human with hearing loss is like my superpower. As a hearing doctor, I get to help people hear their best while learning about the mysteries of hearing. Hello humans, welcome back to Dr. Rose Helps You Hear. I'm Stephanie Rose and today we're going to be talking about a severe hearing loss. So hearing loss can happen for a variety of reasons and the severity is also impacted by that origin in some cases. So what causes a severe hearing loss? There can be noise exposure, there can be genetic reasons, there can be ototoxic or medication related reasons. But what does it sound like to have a severe hearing loss? Well, I'm gonna show you that today. So first I'm gonna show you what the audiogram looks like, so what this hearing loss will look like on paper. And then I'll show you an example of what it's like to hear a conversation between a man and a woman, first through normal hearing, and then we'll do it through the severe hearing loss. I just have to warn you right now that with a severe hearing loss, it is very, very hard to hear. So if you know anyone uh, who has a severe hearing loss, it's very, very important that you show them your lips because they're going to be doing a lot of lip reading or speech reading as we refer to it in audiology. So make sure you get the person's attention first, be in the same room as them so that they have a chance to get the sound waves. Hopefully they wear some sort of hearing device. Um, and if you slow down your speech just a tad, it will help them to be able to get the clarity a little bit better, both visually and with their ears. So here is the audiogram. So this is the audiogram. I drew a line for normal hearing. This goes from soft to loud, and then low pitch to high pitch like a piano. I went ahead and started the hearing loss for the low frequencies in the moderately severe region and then sloping to the severe region. So it is severe for most of these frequencies, but you can see that where the average sounds of speech happen on the audiogram, uh, the, this line is below that and we hear sounds that are in the lower region below your graph. So technically, they will miss all of these average speech sounds. So someone would have to be at a shouting level to have a chance to hear those sounds if you have a severe hearing loss. So keep that in mind that if someone who has a severe hearing loss does not have in their hearing devices, or maybe their hearing devices have some wax in them, or maybe some moisture in tubing, this can have a really, really severe effect on their understanding. So severe hearing loss need very, very good communication strategies. So next I'll show you what it's like to hear with a severe hearing loss. Okay, so I'm using my VeriFit 1 to do a hearing loss simulation. First, we're going to simulate average talkers uh, with a 65 decibel signal. This is a, an average uh, volume of speech. Uh, anywhere from 50 to 65 would be considered average volume of speech. So we'll play it at 65. But first we're gonna simulate normal hearing. So this is the conversation if you have normal hearing between a man and a woman. Okay, so you're not gonna be able to do this. Is that what you're telling them? I'm telling you that's probably what I'm gonna do. Oh. I'm not do it. You're just gonna sit here and listen? Yes. Tell me about work. How was your day? I don't wanna talk about work. <laughs> the less I talk about work, the better I feel, especially on my day off. So he's a little bit more um, uh, lower pitched, so we should be able to sense a little bit of his words when I switch to the average talkers through a severe hearing loss. And then for the last demonstration, I'm gonna turn it up. I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna simulate loud talkers at a 75 decibel signal to see if you can hear any more of this um, signal. I'm just turning off my fountain, just a second. Okay. Here comes the severe hearing loss now. Okay, so you're not gonna be able to do this. Is so that was the entire passage. Didn't really catch much there. 
just a little bit of inflections coming through the machine um, from what I could hear. And I don't know if you can really hear that on the video. So now I'll go ahead and switch to loud talkers. Here we go. So that was the entire passage again. I heard a little bit of inflection from the woman and I also heard a lot of the, the kind of vowel tones coming through for the man, but still no clarity of speech coming through whatsoever and a really severe loss of volume. Now I'm just gonna, for example, uh, take this down to half the hearing loss and present loud talkers again. So here's half the entered hearing loss. That's probably what I'm going to do. We're not doing it. You're just gonna sit here and listen? Tell me about work. How was your day? I don't want to talk about work. <laughs> the less I talk about work, the better I feel, especially on my day. Here's average talkers. Okay. okay. So you're not going to be able to do this. Is that what you're telling me? I'm telling you. That's probably what I'm going to do. Right. You're just going to sit here and listen. Tell me about work. How was your day? The less I talk about work, the better I feel, especially And then back to normal. So you're not going to be able to do this, is that what you're telling me? I'm telling you that's probably what I'm going to do, is oh. not do it. You're just going to sit here and listen? Yes. Tell me about work. How was your day? I don't want to talk about work. <laughs> the less I talk about work, the better I feel, especially on my day off. So the reason why I did the half hearing loss demonstration for both the loud and the average talkers is to kind of give an idea that hearing aids would restore some of that volume. They don't necessarily bring the hearing back to normal levels, but it would be you know, ideal to at least give half that volume back or even more. So it really helps a lot if someone with hearing loss that's that severe has a hearing aid to help bring them those sound waves to the nerves so that they have a chance to hear what was said. You also want to, as you're speaking with someone who has severe hearing loss, you want to make sure that they are clued into the conversation. So did you understand that? Did you hear that Mary is gonna be going to her doctor's appointment next week on Tuesday? Maybe you can get a ride. So make sure you are cluing the person into what's going on. That slows down the group conversation and helps to keep the person with hearing loss engaged. All too often people with hearing loss tend to just check out and be quiet so that they don't have to you know, uh, let the group know that they're missing things. But that's no way to communicate and we wanna definitely keep our interpersonal communication um, uh, to a good level so that we are cognitively engaged uh, and being able to participate in our relationships with other people. So I will help to bring you guys some more interesting videos about hearing next week. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to know when I have a new video. Have a great rest of your day.